Hi guys, so you did read the title right. We are going to be making a custard style sweet potato ice cream. Now in a previous video, I made a custard style pumpkin ice cream. It was sponsored by Libby's. Anytime I do a video that involves pumpkin, I get the same questions of can I use sweet potato in place of pumpkin or something like that. So what I wanted to do was beat you guys to the punch and go ahead and do a custard style sweet potato ice cream so that you can already have the recipe at your fingertips. Now if this ice cream sounds rich to you, it is. It is very rich. It's a custard style um, ice cream. So eat little bits at a time because it's counterproductive to any workout plans that you'll ever have. The other thing is this ice cream, I have managed to be able to make it taste just like sweet potato pie, and I really don't know whether to be ashamed or proud. So while I'm trying to figure that out, why don't y'all go ahead and watch the video? <laughs> the recipe is going to start out by us bringing some heavy cream and some milk to a simmer over medium heat. Next, in a very large bowl, we're going to take eight egg yolks, and we're going to add a full can of sweet potato puree. Now, if you can't find sweet potato puree in your neighborhood grocery store, I did include how to make your own in the recipe, so don't worry about that part. Next, we're going to add some granulated sugar, some light brown sugar, and some salt. And if you notice, I'm using significantly less sugar because I'm adding another ingredient that is very well known to sweet potato pie, and that is, yes, some sweetened condensed milk. <laughs> If you want to know one of the real reasons why I had to come up with some of these custard recipes was because I kept baking that strawberry ombre cake and you know that cake calls for all egg whites so I had a bunch of yolks so that led me to testing other recipes with yolks so here we are now we're gonna take half of our heavy cream and our milk that's been simmering and add it to the sweet potato mixture as we vigorously whisk okay we're tempering those eggs now what we're gonna do is just combine everything into the pot and then turn the heat to medium Cook the custard for about 10 to 15 minutes, going in periodically with a whisk so that you can avoid lumps. You want a smooth texture and you'll know when it's thickened because it's going to coat the back of the spoon. We can now pour our custard through a fine mesh strainer right into a large bowl that's in an ice bath. Now that ice bath is going up about halfway of that bowl and that's lots of cold water and some ice. We need to chill the custard because this custard is headed for the freezer, of course, so you can't put hot custard directly into the freezer. So we're going to bring it down to at least 60 degrees before you even attempt to do that, okay? In the meantime, while I'm chilling it, I'm going to go ahead and add my cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger, and the pure vanilla extract. If you look really closely, you'll be able to see the steam evaporate. That means our product is cooling off properly. You can go ahead and grab your 9 by 13 baking dish and pour your custard right in. Finally, we get to go ahead and start our freezing process. We're going to go in for our first round of 45 minutes, and here's what it looks like when it comes out. You see, unlike the pumpkin custard ice cream, instead of going two rounds, we have to go three rounds of freezing with the sweet potato. And the reason for this is only because we're dealing with more product, and I don't think that's too bad of a trade-off for the end result that we're going to get. So each time that you're done with a round of freezing, you're going to make sure you go ahead and stir it up either with a spatula or a spoon. Really good. Now we're at the third and final stage of freezing, and I love this stage because it means I'm done. But this is also the stage where you would stir in some of your favorite add-ins, like some chopped toasted pecans or even a little bit of caramel, but I'm going to leave that option up to you. Now the ice cream needs to be put into an airtight container. Um, I have containers made for this purpose, but you can use anything that you have as long as it's going to be covered, okay? And we need to freeze it for a minimum of four hours to overnight. And by the way, this recipe makes two quarts of sweet potato ice cream, so if you don't want that much, feel free to cut the recipe in half. So we're making sweet potato ice cream, right? So I thought it would be really cute to take some pie crust and make little crust cups. So I just took a four inch ring and cut some pie crust and rings and then brushed it with some heavy cream and a little sprinkling of cinnamon and sugar, very light, not too heavy. And then you take the back of a 12 cup muffin tin and just drape the dough over the back of those cups. I baked the crust at the manufacturer's suggested temp of 450 degrees, but they only took six minutes, so be very careful when you do that step. I just thought these were so cute because you can use them for portion control, or you can use them as a way to serve. Remember what I said earlier, this sweet potato ice cream is definitely decadent, creamy, and sweet, but I think it's definitely worth you giving it a try. Thank you guys so much for joining me. You know I appreciate it when you come spend some time with me. And don't forget these recipes and others can be found at gdseasoning.com. See you next time, everybody.